Hello everybody, welcome back to Subnautica. Where now I have another reason to be angry. Um, I just accidentally found out that apparently your life uh, pod floats. Well, not float, that's obvious it freaking floats. What I mean is it move, it drifts. Or for some reason mine is drifting. Because I just went back to it and uh, discovered that it's in a completely different location because the freaking water chests, the waterproof lockers that I put under it aren't there anymore. And I don't think the game's de deleting items. I'm pretty sure this thing is drifting. Because it's also nowhere near clo as close to the water as it was before. So, I lost a crap ton of items because of that. That's just fan flipping tastic. Be nice if I could find those again. Of course, why would the game do that? And that'd just be plain silly. And no, uh, I'm not. I'm not angry at the developers. It's just I wish I would have realized that. That'd been so nice to know. Then I could have put a beacon next to them. But now I'm probably never gonna see those items again. That is terrifying. Why am I? Why am I out here at night? Oh. Great. I don't have... I don't have a battery on me. Okay. Let me guess, all those are in storage too, aren't they? This game's really screwing me today. I get it, lady. I know. I am fully aware. It. That's the thing, is it looks like it's drifting towards the freaking ship. Which, if it drifts towards the ship, and eventually crashes into the ship, what's gonna happen to my stuff? Am I going to get to a point to where it's impossible to progress because I freaking lost everything? I would hope that the game developers would have enough sense to not do that. But we'll see. God, if I could just find those stupid chests. Maybe I could freaking recover something. Because I'm pretty sure one of those chests had all my batteries in it, too. So. All that copper I had, gone. It's like the game just gave me the middle finger. Emergency. Ten seconds of <sighs> I know, lady. I know. I would really... Those were not there. Those were not there last time. I swear they weren't. I don't understand. I'm so confused. Well, that's a relief. I guess it's not drifting. But Jesus Christ. I guess I'll store some health kits. I don't need that many on me. Uh, cook some fishies. And then... I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know what I... Well, I was planning to go to the freaking thing. Uh, stupid 
the life pod that's in distress. And while I'm at it. Okay, that was just making a beepy noise. Um. Hmm. Eat you. Drink one of you. Okay, that's for life pod six. I've already been to seven. So. Let me find six. Save. Store some of this. Maybe make another freaking deployable. Let me see. I don't even have the space, of course. Let me store some of this crap. Um. How do you. Huh. I wonder. Is it possible to recharge the battery? When did I get a compass? Oh, right, I picked it up earlier. Um. Well, screw it, I'll just store that. Not gonna need it anymore, though. Store some titanium. Store some quartz. Just store all the quartz and the copper and that. And the noob. Yeah, I'm gonna build another chest really quick. Too much crap. Now, let's see here. Deployable. I said deployable. There we go. There. And back down. Make myself another chest. I swear. I'm not... I'm not losing my mind. Those chests weren't there before. When I looked last night. Maybe I just looked at the wrong side, but still. I'm not crazy, I swear. Um, I'll just put the compass there. Store a health kit there. And I don't know what else to do. I guess that's it. Put you here, and then... Alright, store the rubber, I guess. Was there even anything else I wanted? I mean, I want to make a, a Seamoth and all that crap, but I also want to make a freaking base, and I don't know how to. Because I don't have the freaking blueprint for that thing that I need. There's no blueprint for a multi-purpose room to start with for some reason. It's angering me very much. Let's see, trash cans. Seriously, there's nothing. Hmm. Yeah, all there is is foundation. There's nothing... There's no freaking rooms to build. Which is stupid. That's just plain freaking stupid. And irresponsible, honestly. Well, screw it. Hmm... Hold on a second, people. Okay, I'm back. Now. Um. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll go check this freaking, like, log that I found earlier. Data bank. No. Data downloads? No. No. Technical vehicles. No, that's not what I'm asking for. I guess it's a log. Okay, automated stress signals, increased radiation levels. I'm confused. I found a, a freaking data pad and I picked it up. 
sort by date. Hold on a second, people. Let me see if I can find this bloody thing. I'm not finding it. Emergency. And I'm also drowning. Okay. I need to remember to do that on land. I'm so confused. I guess that's it. It's 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 not gonna tell me. It's not gonna bloody tell me what. So screw it. I'll just go to the other thing. Let's see. All oh, right. That's why I wanted to do. Uh. I wanted to see if I could stick a battery in here. I'm gonna guess no. Darn it. I was hoping I could stick a battery somewhere in here to charge it, but I guess that's not a thing you can do. Hold on a second. I'm back. Uh. Crap. I guess I'll go to the, uh. Freaking one of these life pods. There's not much else I can do. I'll go to the life pod and then, uh. Whenever I finish checking out these two life pods, I guess I'll try to find the entrance into the sh Aurora and hopefully not get eaten in the process. <sighs> of course, that's probably not gonna work out for me. Never seems to. But we'll see. What the crap was that noise? All right, this one's crashed. Be nice if I can make an upgrade to freaking increase the battery life of the freaking Sea Glide. Radiation suit, flippy flappies. Abandoned PTA. Okay, so it's all in download data. All right. Altara crew. I never should have let her leave with that rad suit. By now, she's either swamped. Wait. Oh, okay. Alright, so I guess this is the first one. Okay, PDA situational analysis complete. Communications relay offline. Altera Crew 1. Damn it, how are we going to find the others without a rendezvous signal? Altera Crew 2. We have a bearing on where the other pods went down. There's a compass in the locker. We have options. Altera Crew 1. Wait, you want to just swim for it? Are you serious? Altera Crew 2. Have to eventually, if there's any rescue coming in some months. Maybe years away, we find the others, patch up Aurora's long-range communications, and set about building a permanent habitat. Altera Crew 1, did you stop to pick up your tools while you were running for your life? Altera Crew 2, no, but the fabricator's not broken. All we need is some basic materials. I'm going, to, I'm going out there to see what I can find. Okay... But I'm missing whatever led to that one. Oh wait, here's the other PDA. And a dead radio. So wait, are you saying I didn't even need to make the radiation suit? I could have just gotten it for free. Oh joy. That would have been nice to know. Ah, too late now. All right. Aurora crew, ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Aurora passenger, where are the rescue teams? The ship didn't make it, so where are the rescue teams? 
They're dead, ma'am. We have the rendezvous coordinates, but the route there is heavily irradiated from the crash site, and we only have one rat suit. Or a passenger, so what are you going to do? We'll to her crew. If I take the suit, perhaps I can find a lead source in the area, come back, and fabricate a second suit for you. Then we swim for the rendezvous. Aurora passenger, how do I know you'll not just save yourself? Give me the suit, I'll go. Altera crew, do you know how to properly equip? I said I'll go. Yeah. Based on this, let's see. Altera crew, I never should have let her leave with that rad suit. By now she's either swum to dry land or drowned trying. Meanwhile, the air filters aren't keeping up with hull breach. Radiation levels in the pot are rising. I won't last much longer without meds. Uh... This would be the time to take the easy way out if all the options on the table weren't equally horrific. Hatch opens. Aurora passenger, help me. What happened? Aurora passenger, coughing. I tried to make it to the rendezvous, but I started feeling sick. Barely made it back. Oh, Terra Cruz, this is, this is important. Uh, did the suit breach? Are you contaminated? Aurora passenger, no, I don't know what's wrong. Altera crew, did you set the air levels right? Aurora passenger, yes. Sound of scanner. Altera crew, did you remember to do up the zipper? Aurora passenger, what zipper? <laughs> really? Oh my god, you died because you didn't freaking zip up a suit. Altera crew, your radiation levels shouldn't be this high, ma'am. You've been exposed to... Ma'am? Ma'am, wake up! Or a passenger, if you make it off this planet, please don't tell people I died because I couldn't trust myself. <laughs> Life signs flatlined. Your secret's safe with me. I don't expect to make it off this planet. Well, that's depressing. Uh, save. Hold on a second, people. Okay, I'm back. I guess I'm gonna go to this pi is life pod. I almost said pipeline for some reason. I blame North Dakota. I wish this did not look like a f freaking abyss. I'm terrified. Hmm. But yes, I will go over here. Hopefully not run straight into the face of the reef back. I should probably scan one of those things. You know, I guess along the way I'm gonna scan one. This giant, terrifying thing. Oh my god. I mean, it's pretty. It's also pretty freaking terrifying. Where's the part that I can scan? Rogue Cradle? I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. So you don't fear me. God, it's big and hairy. It's like a giant spider. It scares me. But it's harmless. Thankfully. Although it probably isn't harmless. I'm pretty sure that if I attacked it, I'd probably die horribly. So, somehow I need to make it over that. Over to that. Oh my god. This is terrifying. I really hope that's another reef back I see in front of me, because that's a... No, that's a part of the crashed ship. Okay. I'm just gonna swim back up for air really quick. And regret my decisions in life. All of my decisions. Let's see. Oh, there's something down here. That looks like something I could scan. Battery charger fragment. Yes! That is something very useful. Now. What else is there? Hopefully there's another one of those down here. I'm gonna have to swim up for air. God dang it. I hate... I hate having to swim for air. I get it, lady. I know. I have to swim up like a dolphin. Go like, sploosh!
Okay. I'm gonna try to conserve what little power I have left in this darn thing. Why is the power run out so quickly? That's one thing that upsets me. Ooh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Could you not bite me? Hmm? You wanna not do that? Yes! Seamoth fragment. Sorry if that was a little loud in your ear. Didn't mean to be. Um, let's see here. So I got a Seamoth fragment, mobile vehicle bay fragment. What else is here? That looks like something I could scan. Another Seamoth fragment. Perfect. Please let it be 50%. It's not. It's three. So I need... Caution. 30 seconds. I know. I'm going back up. Calm your muffins. Okay, finally something of progress, though. This is great. This is great news. If I can find just one more Seamoth fragment in this little area, then it'd be perfect. I could make a Seamoth... Well, no, I couldn't make a Seamoth fragment because I still need more pieces of the mobile vehicle bay. But it would still be an improvement over the whole lot of nothing that I have right now. Okay, flashlight. Ooh, is that, is that another piece? Is that another piece? No, but it's a freaking battery charger fragment. Yes! I can make that now. Okay. That is something. I am going to drown. Okay, I saved it. Saved it. If I can just find one more, to, well, just two more fragments, essentially. Just need the mobile bay fragment and the freaking fragment of the sea glide, and then I'll be free. And everything will be great. It's gonna be huge. Huge, I tell you, huge. Okay, got this PDA. I will check that out as soon as. As soon as I'm in a safe area that doesn't sound like I'm going to die horribly. Good thing is I can finally see. The bad thing? I'm gonna drown. I can turn that light off now, so hopefully it uses less power. God. I'm sorry I'm having to do this over and over, but I need this. I need anything from this. All right, the light's off. I know that for sure now. Wait, that looks like a fragment of... S I think that's a Seamoth fragment. Oh my god, yes. Yes! Okay. I just... Please tell me that's a mobile vehicle, babe, fragment. Yes! Thank you, God! Oh, crap. I need a third one. You son of a muffin. Son of a muffin, son of a muffin, son of a muffin. Son of a muffin. Ah, screw it, I'll go back up for air. I need a bigger air tank. This is not cutting it. Why can't you equip two air tanks? That make things so much easier on me. The game's like, no. No air tanks for you. Wait, go back up. I didn't fully fill it. This episode might run a teensy bit long as I try to get every fragment here. There has to be another fragment laying around here. That's a salt deposit, but screw it, I'll probably need it for cured food. There's a lot of salt deposits around here. Huh. Please let there be one. Please let there be another fragment. I said a fragment, not a bite to the butt. Please, there's got to be something. Throw me a bloody bone. I don't want to have to find another piece of the Aurora to find that. I mean, you gave me an entire freaking sea moth. You can't give me a mobile vehicle bay? Yeah, I know I went up a little early, but screw it. 
I just want to find this, get away from here, go back to my little ship. Oh, freaking life pod, I don't know why I keep saying ship. Clearly I'm losing my mind. Uh, wait. Please don't bite me, please don't bite me, please don't bite me, please don't bite me. I said please. You're not, you're not being nice. And, and please, just, come on, there's gotta be a fragment here somewhere, for God's sake. to check the outside perimeter or something? <sighs> Screw it. I can't... I, I know... I know, lady, I know. I'm fully aware. Crap. I guess that's all I'm gonna get out of this for now. Uh... Well, let me see what that glowing thing is. It's probably nothing. In fact, it's most likely nothing. Just glowing. Wait, there's a room here. There's a. There's got to be a way in that room. Please let me fit in. There's. There's got to be a way into that room. It looks like you could fit in and like scan stuff. Maybe from up there. I'll try. And also, this is my last battery for this thing, so that's going to be a whole other issue. Please. I, I don't think this is the entrance. Darn it. Yeah, there. Problem solved. There. Still no fragment, and I still can't figure out how to get in there. Son of a muffin! <sighs> Screw it. That's the end of this thing. There's. N oh, okay. Please, please, please. That's a battery charger fragment. That's not what I need. Something, something. I saw something light up. Battery charger fragment. Darn it. Move vehicle. Yes. Yes. Freaking yes! God yes! And a bioreactor fragment. Okay. No. Wait, get out of there. Get out of there. I can do it. I can get it. I can get out. I can get out. I can... I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. Please, let me out. Let me out. I can make it. I can make it. The sea glide's almost there. I died. What did I lose? I'm not even sure what I lost. Probably a bunch of freaking materials. <sighs> Let me s Did I at least get to keep the blueprints? Please, for the love of God. Um... Okay, now let me do that. Now let me do that. So good. And it looks like this stuff is easy to make. Even better. So, I guess with that... Well, actually, hold on a second. Yeah, with that, the freaking episode ran on much longer than it should have. But it was worth it because it got all that crap. That's awesome. Uh... So I guess with that, I will end this episode. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, possibly leave a donation. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody.